when when you exhale in on in with the trombone it's the same thing yeah i'm always thinking chest up and out you know okay yeah, same, same not kind too of... much. yeah 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 just hit me up we can just you uh, just don't have to be a lesson yeah I'd, I'd i'd love to man i i need um some guidance yeah singing is I don't know what the the back pressure does with the trombone, mm -hmm. but there is uh, there are exercises for uh, subglottal pressure, increased subglottal pr pressure, and it usually helps with bringing the vocal folds together. So I would think you know singing when you exhale in on in yeah a tube or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think so many of these things are similar. It's just you know you take away the mouthpiece and the instrument, and there's so much less back pressure. Um, as long as you don't sing <laughs> i'm trying to get away from, i can make those noises all day long i do make those noises all day made long. exactly the same sound with your voice <laughs> trombone. oh man <laughs> yeah, that's all right so we are we are live now um what yeah we are live no uh, we're waiting like five more minutes for people to like join and whatnot but i taking it up early so in case uh, people join, you know, whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, Ryan asked me about us opening and uh, quickly going to explain what's happening. Um, so basically, let me move this over a little bit. Uh, we are opening back up on the 29th of this month with uh, the Billy Hart Show, um, which is live at the Jazz Gallery, one of our live stream shows. But we're doing like it's what I'm calling a soft reopening. Um, basically we have you know those tables that we have at the gallery the, the cabaret tables the cabaret seating whatever you want to call it um we're setting six of those up and we are allowing up to 24 people to join us in person uh what that means is we're not going to be sitting like parties together um but like if you come by yourself you got a table for yourself if you buy four tickets for you your wife let's say and like you know another couple friends of yours you, you have four people coming um you four get that table and regardless nobody sits with you so it can be four uh six single people sitting each at their own table or it can be four uh six parties of four so a total of 24 people that's the maximum that we're allowing at space that's going to be the vibe for the next month um up until june then in june we're um I, I really we're doing limited seating still, but increasing that. Is that what it is, Rio? Yeah, right now we're saying 50% at June. Depending on how things go, it's possible that number could be higher. Yeah. But it's TBD. Yeah. TBD. And, and the whole thing is that we're going to have our Thursday night live streams as always. So that's going to be still the same vibe. But then Friday and Saturday are going to be actual shows that are not going to be live streamed. They're gonna be in person only, um, no, no digital stuff. You have to be there to be there to experience it, um, right? <laughs> yes, yep, yeah. yep. And, um, that's gonna be the vibe up until September, I believe. Then in September, mm -hmm. we're gonna give people the option if they're playing on a, on a Friday or Saturday that if they wanna live stream their show, they can do it. If not, that's cool. I mean, really any nights, it's up to the artists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Amazing, man! That's hey, you know, exciting. Look, who's here? Hello. Oh my God! Hi, Preston. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, I was uh, on your birthday. Whenever it was, I don't know. My, you know, time is all crazy. But um, okay. All had it in the wrong Zoom. I have to send him the link. But I, I showed Muna Preston's photo, and Muna's like, "How old is he?" So I told her your age, and Muna was like. What? Her jaw like dropped to the floor, like, there's no way. I'm like, that's what happens when you take care of yourself. 37, not a day. <laughs> yes, but um, yeah, we talked about you a lot, you and Theo. Let's see, email. We do a quick, oh no, we were already online, right? We were already online. Yeah, people watching us on YouTube and. A couple people on. And I don't know why Ohad cannot join us, but I'm sending him his link once again. Ohad. You're on from our Zooms or not? What? 
Do we see who is in the audience from Zoom? From our no, no, you have to go to YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so that, that's where the chat is happening. Yeah, we, we switched it up uh, since probably the last time you've been on here, but now we have no audience on Zoom, but we stream it on YouTube and oh, okay. chat and whatever, and it's just like, they come and go as they please. It's exploding the internet, I'm telling that's you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. That's the only luck. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, Make sure you turn out the sound on the um, YouTube. Otherwise, you'll be like, yeah, yeah sound will be hearing you twice. I mean, we could not hear enough of you, but twice. that's besides the point. That's okay. Oh, here we are. Oh my God, that's weird. That's meta. <laughs> yeah, right? Perfect word. Yes. Wow. But don't show it in your screen. The thing. Oh, it's gonna explode. No. <laughs> Endless cycle. Infinity now. <laughs> I look weird when I look down. I should not look down. Okay. Yeah. I Wait. I forgot to change the latency and, and now we're dealing with like normal latency on YouTube. So they're getting everything. We're getting like 30 seconds behind. What? Oh, you know what? I think, oh, 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 hi. okay. Here he is. Hi, Savannah. Hi, hey, Savannah. Nice to virtually meet you. Hi. You guys know each other? Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Well, we'll find out more about each other. Oh, hi. Sorry. I forgot to let you into the room. I took you literally, Rio. My segment is six minutes. Perfect. But you're going to last today. Hey. Yeah. There he is. Because you're, you're going to bookend the whole thing. Yo, huh? and hey, you'll, guys. You'll see. That's good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ooh, you're live from the seas. Oh, man. I am so excited because <laughs> I just got this. The piano? Oh, the piano. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's leak on its Steinway, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm flexing, like my son said. You're going to flex the piano? <laughs> <laughs> Get that volume pedal going. Oh, you know what's funny, man? I, um, we just got a piano here, and I had uh, Isaac here tuning our piano. Uh huh. And he was telling me that, like, somebody bought the piano to, like, give, give it to somebody, but he didn't say any names. <laughs> and then I saw your post, and I was like, oh, shit. Uh, I didn't buy it. Basically, the family oh, willed it. I know, I know, yeah. Somebody, then, somebody like, well, I mean, you know, whatever. But he also, he also told me like the worth of the piano or what they were gonna try to sell it for, and I was like, damn. <laughs> Very ambitious. Yeah, that was ambitious. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that was cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start. Let's get started. Six o two. Yes. So, um, I like this punctuality thing a lot. That's right. Well, yeah. it's we're not punctual because it's already six or two. I should have said this two minutes ago. Sorry, my bad. It's it's jazz punctual because because it's like <laughs> you know like at, at a gig like you know at the gallery we don't start like till like like seven forty five seven fifty when the time is like seven thirty. Right. Um, but no, yeah. So uh, welcome to the jazz gallery online. Thank you for joining us. I'm seeing the chat now. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, shout out to Kalia Vandiver and, and Narissa's there and Theo oh. is there, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome He's and thanks for joining us. Just before we start, as always, like to let you know we have going on here at the Jazz Gallery in case you want to join us for anything in the future. Uh, this last week, we had uh, Caroline Davis, who featured our next guest at the Jazz Gallery's live stream concert, uh, Marquise Hill, who's an incredible trumpet player from Chicago, and he will be featuring in his band Emmanuel Wilkins, Rashawn Carter, and Marcus Gilmore. Uh, as always, those are 7.30 and 9.30 sets. If you want to join us, um, you can get tickets on our website at jazzgallery.org. What else do we have going on? On the 26th, which is next Monday, we have a very, very special showing of some footage that we got our hands on. Um, as most of you know, or all of you know, or some of you know, um, Roy Hargrove was founder of the Jazz Gallery, uh, started back in 90, 1995, and um, we acquired some footage of his um, from 1991 uh, from a TV show. Uh, I, I, I hear it only good things about this footage, so I'm really excited to show it. Um, it's going to be next Monday. The video features... <laughs> Uh, Antonio Hart, Mark Whitfield, Jeffrey Kieser, Christian McBride, and Greg Hutchinson. 
um, as I said, from 1991, so it's it's uh, young cats. And uh, the cool thing, or, or maybe not so cool for you guys, um, it's one time only. You can only watch it one time. You can't, it's not going to go on our channel. You can't watch it later. You can't DVR it. You, you can't anything with it. It's going to be live, and then it's going to be off. That's the only way we were allowed to play it. So you have to tune in next Monday at 6 o'clock. Yeah. The whole thing with this is it's a fundraiser for the Jazz Gallery. So, um, you know, all of these Monday evening events tonight and, uh, you know, the Miguel interviews, all that stuff, um, you know, we run them by donation. So we let you come in and join us on YouTube. And we're super happy that you're here. We do appreciate donations, but uh, especially this uh, next Monday is going to be a fundraiser for us. So we hope you consider when you join us that... Uh, you consider donating and whatever you can um, so we can pay bills and all that good yes. stuff. Um, but if you want to donate tonight as well, there is a link down below in the description. Um, if you just scroll down a little bit and open the description, if it's not open, there will be a link to donate. It will take you to a PayPal page. It's very easy to do. Um, we suggest $15, but if you can do less or more, that's also fine with us. Uh, the Thursday after that, we're going to have Billy Hart at the Jazz Gallery, and I actually don't know who's playing with him. I know Dana's playing. Uh, yeah, it's Dana, uh, Ben Street, and Ethan. Hmm. Okay, cool. So that's also 7.30 and 9.30 sets. As I was explaining earlier before um, we actually started up, um, that is the first show that we're going to have a live audience for. Uh, I explained it in long form uh earlier but basically we're going to be allowing up to 24 people um at the gallery uh one table at table so it's going to be one party per table um so we hope you can join us either physically or online um thursday night streams are going to continue as many of you might know this is our last lockdown session for the time being we're hoping to bring it back soon but we're focusing on the reopening and uh putting all our energy into that so um Please bear with us uh, while we don't have any more lockdowns for you. But there will be the occasional Monday evening thing with either uh, Miguel's uh, interviews, his in conversation, which we actually have one scheduled, I believe, for May. Um, yeah, May 3rd. Is that May 3rd? Yeah, May 3rd Cause... with Brad Meldow. Um, it's going to be super interesting, so we hope you join us for that. Um, and I know he's going to continue to schedule these as he finds people that he can work with and schedule that himself. Um, so, um, yeah, stay updated with that. Um, let's see what else. Um, if you want to become a member at the jazz gallery, that also allows you to get some really sweet discounts as far as, uh, the online, uh, live stream concerts, which are $20 for members are $5. So you get a nice discount there. Um, there is a link in the description to become a member as well. And last but not least, if you can, uh, subscribe to our channel, that also helps a ton. Uh, subscriptions help us reach out to a larger audience, helps us grow, grow the channel and whatnot. So yeah, with that said, we have an awesome show for you guys tonight and very excited about today's guests. So thank you for joining us, Ryan, Ohad, Savannah, Theo, um, Nice to have you all here. We're going to start with our uh, very first guest is an incredible young drummer who's been making the rounds just about everywhere. Um, Savannah, we've had you at the gallery a few times and um, always, always impressing um, everybody that comes to check you out. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I did get your video. Um, I, th I, I don't know if you, cool. uh, <laughs> but like I was, in, in I was stressed. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was on another thing, so I couldn't reply. But anyways, um, I would like to introduce you all to Savannah Harris. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Where are you, Savannah? Are you in New York? I am. I'm in a brand new apartment, which is why my walls are nice and white. Um, <laughs> bouncy too. Nothing bouncy and... <laughs> All of that. Um, we have yet to put the artwork up. So, uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. Awesome. And I heard that you made a connection with Ohad recently through his son. Yes, I love um, I love Ohad. Everybody loves Ohad. Um, Seeds is, has been an amazing space 
uh, to work in and play in and rehearse in and, you know, fellowship in um, over this past year. Uh, so thank you, Ohad, for creating this space for us. And um, also a shout out to his amazing son, who is a fabulous um, designer, young designer. So I we're working on I got something to show some... you right here, but I'll wait my turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I know. We're working sitting... on <laughs> You're sitting so quiet and I was waiting for you to like, you know, plug in your son. Like... Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. The whole time right. we're kids. We're right. all here to plug in I. That's it. That's right. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> CNI's world. <laughs> yeah, Theo, look out for him. He's very snazzy. <laughs> yep. So, um, Savannah, do you want to say anything about the video before I play it? Um, sure. Uh, so, you know, I, like many musicians, maybe not now, but I just was super late to the tech life. So um, I was like a real anti-tech girl for a really long time. And then this year happened and I had to get with the program. Um, so I did my best. And uh, it feels a little school project-y to me, just a tad, so bear with me, but I really, I'm standing behind it. That's all right, that's all right. You know, there's <laughs> such a, this whole like lockdown thing, there's such a learning curve to everybody, it's different. And you know, I like, I just want this to be like, you know, how jazz gallery in real life, that it's a safe place to fail. So yeah. we can like learn and be better and whatnot. Not Theo, but you know, for everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, I tried some. I tried some new, some new things. I, I went out on a limb with this one, so I'm excited. All right. Yeah. Yeah.
Thanks. Um, Thanks, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. What do you mean school project? I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it was a lot of work, too, to do all of that. Yeah, I mean, um, I was, uh, I'm super thankful for my friend and um, now also my roommate, Joy Morales. She's a really dope producer, um, pianist, singer. And so she played, I had a chart for this song um, and some of the chords were wrong. So she really helped me flatten that out because there's, <laughs> there's some stuff in there. And uh, so she played keys and key bass on it. I played drums and sang and, you know, manipulated my voice and kind of like did a very rough mix at the end and then produced a little credits outro and um, kind of tried to put put a video thing together with yeah. a bunch of random clips that I like that follow the little narrative. Yeah. No, and I love all the effect that you put on it. It has a vibe, definitely. Yeah. Um, Jason Parma is saying, I'm shedding to this now and the chords are so smooth. Is there sheet music available for, for purchase? <laughs> You can have my janky chart for the low. <laughs> I can send you my, you know, I can send you what I have. Oh my God. I want a copy too, Just, please. Okay. <laughs> Charts for all. Yeah. Savannah, what did you use to do the video editing? Which, which program? So my friend told me about this uh, very simple kind of glorified, um, iMovie called Splice. It's an iPhone app. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I did the whole thing on my phone and then I just, because- That's crazy. I, I, effects. I love that effect with the TV within the TV. That's such a great, I love that. Thank you. That's such a vibe. I you did everything on the iPhone? Matching. Yeah. Wow. That's I was uh, I was mixing and matching and trying to now? come up with something freaky. Did you do the sound too on, on the iPhone? Like the sound mixing with the, with the um, like lining up the sound with the video? Yeah, so I did, I, I made the track itself on Ableton and then I just, um, you know, airdropped it to my phone and then okay. basically imported it, synced it all up in this little app called Splice, which is, which is free. Amazing. Free, which is <laughs> I don't know if it's free forever, but it's free for the trial period with which Within which I used this app. So. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting a you lot of love on the YouTube. Aww. Do you Thanks, see that in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I do. Influencer already. Okay. That's love. Um. Cool. Let's see. So. What are you working on that maybe you would like to promote, if anything? Um, yeah, so I have an EP that is nearing completion. Um, hopefully it will be out in the early part of early half of the summer. And it's something that has been co-produced between me, Morgan Guerin and Joy Morales. Um, and we've also had some really wonderful people come in and and contribute as well, like my good friend, Maya Kronfeld. And then we also, um, some of the recording was done by um, Mike Haldeman, who's an amazing guitarist, um, an incredible engineer also. And so that's coming and it's it's weird and I'm into it. <laughs> um, I'm excited about it. Uh, I've had to convince myself to play more drums on it. Um, Cause I just kind of like write without the drums in mind first. And then, um, then I remember that I play drums and I have to play <laughs> drums. <laughs> you know, people are like, you can't not play drums on your shit. You know? uh, yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's what's coming up. Um, that's also, cool. there's a couple of really cool records that are coming out that I'm on. So I'm excited about that. There's, um, uh, Maria Grand Trio record coming out soon. There's a couple singles from that that are out on Biophilia. Um, that's with me, her, and Kanoa Mendehall. And then what else is going on? Um, oh, you're going to cool... be playing with uh, Orr, no? At the gallery? Yeah. yeah. We're going to be at the gallery in that's June. Right. 
I believe. June 4th, first, I think. Yeah, first week of June. Right, yeah. Super excited to play in real life at the gallery again. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. And you can attend the show. That. People can come. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thrilled. I can't even tell you. It feels yeah. really good. So, yeah. Me too. Awesome. That's cool. Well, if anybody here wants to follow Savannah, uh, her Instagram is Savvy Knows, S A V Y. Yes, Savvy Knows what? Uh, that's <laughs> funny. In, in touch with her and uh, follow her and uh, her, the EP. I'm excited to hear as well. So, yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Savannah. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Go go to the YouTube. There's like a lot of comments that people are making. And I'm, I'm thinking seeing some that, love. Yes. And Edward, maybe every week we should say, this is the last one. No, this is really the last one. So like, people will come and watch the show real time. <laughs> Barbara Streisand did that a few times. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, or Junko Onishi. Anyway. So uh, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but most of you know this already. We are partially supported by advertisements and by uh, by advertisement, I mean actual ads. So we're going to go on an ad break right now. It's one minute. You guys don't have to worry about anything. Some people might get ads. Some people might not get ads. Um, doesn't affect you guys that are on here on the Zoom call. But uh, YouTube people, you might get an ad for a little bit. You can skip it or I don't know. But uh, we're going to break for like a minute. Yeah. And I want to know what kind of ads you're getting. I'm always curious, like, you know, like what? They want to sell it to jazz people. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might get something <laughs> really weird. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, it depends on like what you Google search also, because like that's what. You... That's true. Yep. Yeah. I was getting earwax removal ads on Instagram the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay is that what you're googling ryan how to remove my earwax ear candle i, I must yeah. have I, I'm, I'm trying to do that ear candle uh not ear candle apparently that, oh. that is actually very dangerous for your ears this is such a revealing conversation like this is the <laughs> turn that this took like, <laughs> we, we got talking for a minute so you know. right um, but let me know if you find an, an earwax removal doctor person and, and, and there are no ads on YouTube. Yeah, yeah you I'm not seeing well, that. not everybody gets it. Oh, some I people do, some people don't. Which I don't, I don't know why. They should just give it to everybody, no? Yeah. I why don't cool they do ads, that? It's like a music video. Oh wow. Yeah. Rest enlargement. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there something you'd like to tell us, Theo? Some life-changing oh, stuff. <laughs> oh man. Um, shall we get back into it? Okay. Yeah, that's about a minute. So, our next guest is someone I admire a lot, and um, I admire your. All your projects. <laughs> you know, I don't want everybody's looking at me. You're like, who? <laughs> I have to keep the suspense going. <laughs> so I'm about Ryan Keberly, to my, my right here. Um, an incredible trombone player who... Uh, so last week we had like some of the big band cats that are like on, on all the big bands. And we had a trumpet player and we had... Um, Luis Bonilla. Luis, we had oh we had another one of the trombone players. Yeah, this video then, was amazing. Uh, by the way. Yeah, but but Ryan is also one of those cats that's like first of all in in all the important big bands, um, Darcy, Maria, you know, and um, also your own bands are are killing Catharsis. And I think the last time we had you as a band leader was with Reverso. Yeah, right. Thanks, Edward. Yeah. So. Um, my point is Ryan puts out a lot of music and a lot of it is very good. Most of it is very good. Actually, all of it is very good. So um, check out Ryan Keverly and I'm happy to introduce you all to Ryan Keverly. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. And actually, Ryan, one of the first shows that I saw at the gallery was was one of your shows. Like oh, wow. the first week that I started working there. Yeah, I remember that. Throwback. You were young. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were like you were like fresh off the boat. <laughs> oh my god! In New York, I, think, right? I, I don't think yeah. I was. Playing much. That's yeah. so I mean, funny. Still young. I mean, what? How old are you now? Because you know, last week Edward said to who did you say that to? Oh, you said to uh, Luis Vonia. 
guys of your generation. And we were like, what? <laughs> what generation? I'm you mean not, like, I'm not saying no, yet. no, I'm just, I'm just, you know, Dude, he, you call us old, but now Ryan calls you out. So thank you, Ryan. Uh, you know, anytime. <laughs> Um, well, All I've right. got two things prepared, and um, they're they're two short videos. Is that okay, Rio? Just playing like whatever you want to do. Or... I mean, what are you going to do if I said no? Was it you're going to magically have a video? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to start with the first one, which is longer. So we, okay. we'll start with that, and um, yeah, and then maybe maybe if we want more, I could do the second one. The second one is something I plan to release into the world officially down the road. I haven't figured out exactly how I want to do that, but I thought it'd be fun to share with the Jazz Gallery crowd and our, our friends and our family uh, in the meantime. But I'll start with a piece I just finished. Um, so I, uh, my, my uncle, my um, father's older brother, is, was an incredible musician. Um, he was a clarinetist and a uh, new music composer. And um, I have a lot of musicians in my family, but he was one of them, along with my parents, obviously my grandparents, who um, really inspired me to follow my, my musical dreams. And he um, passed away a couple of years ago, uh, just about, I guess, about six months before COVID. Um, and we haven't really been able to celebrate his life formally in the way we want because COVID got in the way and we had memorial services planned and it all got delayed. And so um, he taught at the College of Staten Island for the last 15 years or so of his uh, career. And so they're going to be having a memorial service for him coming up finally. And so I wrote this music for that and I'm going to be sharing it for that probably with a different video. I haven't figured out exactly how I want to share it there. I, I'm not the biggest fan of music to video. I mean, I think music and video can be amazing and compelling, but I also think any kind of visual stimulation also, for, for me at least, being the music nerd I am, really can get in the way <laughs> of the experience. I just, I love the aural experience. And when I when you add visuals so oftentimes, it just kind of, it's just like extra clutter for me. Um, so I, I've been throughout the pandemic kind of hesitant to go down the music video path. I mean, of course, live perform live virtual performances have been a necessity and I completely uh, understand that. But so this is something I made. I just kind of set some video that I felt um, it reminded me of my uncle and I thought it also kind of fit the music. So this one is a piece just recently written um, called In Memoria. Okay.
beautiful. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I was yeah. thinking that like one of the like fun thing about doing lockdown is I'm sorry, I'm totally talking over you, but no, um please. Um, the one of the fun thing about lockdown is that you get to find people's like other talent because you know when I see you at the gallery, I I know you write and I know you play trombone, but now my, I'm hearing you play other things. You're singing, you're playing about trumpet too, right? Um, all trombone and bass trombone on that. Oh, one, but some because um, Mike Rodriguez like, oh, you're playing trumpet, and I'm thinking, am I hearing trumpet? You're wrong, I, Mike. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not. My dad plays trumpet, but no, I'm not. I'm not dumb enough to try to play trumpet. That's that's yeah, that's even harder than trombone. <laughs> Trombone's really hard, but trumpet's even harder. <laughs> oh, you know, that's one of the problems of playing in big bands, though, is you get. I mean, you you kind of are asked to do the things people know you do, you know. And and so mm -hmm. since I've done so much of that, it's, I'm, I'm never going to get to ask. I'm never going to be asked to sing in a big band. Yeah, that's just that's fine. You know, that's, there are plenty of people who do that much better than me. <laughs> yes. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. didn't, didn't you sing in, in one of your bands? I know I've had to set up a vocal mic for you. Yeah, no, I've been singing more and more. I've been singing my whole life, but I I was slow to the, I I've been slow to share it in the jazz in in my jazz life. Again, partly just out of out of um what people ask me to do and then mm. i'm not sure why i've been sing singing i've been singing since i was since i could, long as i can remember in church choirs and in um my 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 church musicals you know our our christmas uh mu musical performances and and i in fact my first gig in new york city was singing and playing piano at a church at oh. an old catholic church in lower manhattan that's how i paid my bills for my first six years out of school um, but yeah, I've just, I love to sing, getting back into it. I do sing in catharsis some a little bit here and there, but Camila Mesa sings in catharsis. So yeah. I'm just a backup singer. <laughs> I can't compete with that, um, with her, but uh, in reverse, so I've been singing more and more as well. So just like trying to find opportunities where it feels, where it makes sense and where it feels like it's adding something musically. Ryan, what church did you, uh, play at? It was called, I think it recently was um, merged into another church, but it was called um, St. James Catholic Church. It was the second oldest Catholic church in New York City. And uh, there's still St. James Rectory still there, and, and St. James Catholic School is still there. It's down in the, the Lower East Side, just north of um, Wall Street, in an area where um, by the Al Smith Houses, um, uh, housing uh, development. Oh, okay. And um, actually, we had four services every Sunday morning. It's a great gig, those of you looking for gigs to do when you're young jazz musicians, because you're never going to have a gig on Sunday morning at 8 in the, at eight a.m. Like, it never conflicts <laughs> with other jazz gigs. You have to wake up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. <laughs> that late night Saturday to early oh. Sunday church thing is real. It's horrid. So you only take the gig, only take the gig if you can get up. Yeah. yeah oh, stay up, over. right? Yeah. Or stay up. Continue to yeah. stay up. Yeah, that doesn't make for a pretty picture the next morning. <laughs> yeah, driving home after the gig, crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, like looking at the church underneath the Brooklyn Bridge at like two in the morning and thinking to myself, I'm going to be back there in five hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oops, glad those yeah. days are over. But yeah, I've been singing, you know, and playing keys for, for my whole life. My mom's a piano teacher and my dad's a, a, a you know, music professor. So just been it's been fun i i think oh there's so many great vocalists there's so many great pianists you know in new york and it's it's hard to do things when you know there's other people doing them at the level that that they are you know so again just trying to find ways where it feels natural to me and to my also music. trombone chord pads are are sick they that sure one. are yeah. well this next piece maybe that's a good segue because I, it's a really short piece it's like two minutes <laughs> and it's, it's only trombones it's it's all trombones this is a thing i've been working on for a while now and um some people might know an album. Uh, my last album with Catharsis was inspired by Langston Hughes poetry and specifically a work called Let America Be America Again. And um, the last track on that is kind of this this chorale, kind of a musical prayer. And I rearranged it for a trombone choir. And I wow. got a bunch of friends to record, many people who are regulars at the gallery or in New York and some others, um, both from the classical and the jazz worlds. A great Joe Alessi is playing on it, who's kind of like the ultimate trombone hero. In, trom in the trombone universe. Um, so this is a piece called uh, Make America Again.
That was yeah. beautiful. Wow. 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 Great. Oh, mm. Thanks, hey, Ryan, everybody. you have to. Yeah. That was gorgeous. Thanks, Rio. Thanks Amazing. For the Amazing. Beautiful. That was really nice. Was Shannon in Australia when she recorded this? Um, I think in Germany. Oh, she was in Germany. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Thanks. Wow. Oh my God. Incredible. <laughs> you sound like a trumpet. You sound like a high E, I high F up there. Like it's nothing. Well, try, try. It's, uh, that's Maybe actually what I've been right. doing in the pandemic. I've been, I've been practicing, you know, that's been like the one saving grace of this pandemic is having the regularity. Never had a regular schedule before, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. Every day yeah. is different. Every day is a hustle in New York. And then some days you're traveling. And yeah, it's been amazing to be able to have just like every every morning practice. It's really. It's Man, all the trombone players are practicing. You, Luis, uh, Joe uh, Feidler. Hmm. I mean, when, when did you have Joe? Like three weeks ago? And his video, like his chops were crazy. And like, have you been practicing? He's like, oh, yes. You know, every day <laughs> getting ready for that gig. Like, what yeah, gig? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I will say, though, the few gigs I've done, I'm, I feel so out of shape. And I'm like, why am I out of shape? I practice every day. I've been practicing more. But there's no such thing as recreating being in gig shape, you know? Oh, yeah, totally. That's, that's a real thing. That's a, that's a struggle. Yeah. It's going yeah. to hurt getting back into things here. Oh yeah, and me and Edwa has been seeing it. Like we do a live stream at the Jazz Gallery every week. You know, we do two sets, right? Because I think it's beneficial for everybody, and not to mention that all the cats like to come out to a second set, even on the live streaming. But after the first set, everybody's like, "We got one more!" <laughs> <laughs> like yes, but you know, we don't have a lobby call. We don't have to travel. Just one more set. That's it. Yeah. But we are, we are going to feel it, you know. I was talking to Leslie today because she's going to come in this week to do announcement. And Leslie Harrison, um, she was saying that, you know, I have to, I was thinking, she, she lives in Philly. So she's like, maybe I'll come out on the same day and do the announcement. But she's like, no, I got so used to just do one thing a day. So I have to travel the day before. <laughs> and then next day I do announcement. And, you know, I feel that. Like, we're just so out of shape. with The life. marathon days are like, I, I recently had a week where things started to kind of pick up at that mm -hmm. pace and it ran me into the ground. I was like, <laughs> I am not, <laughs> I am not on it right now, but it's nice to like, it's kind of like training again with your friends, like getting together mm -hmm. and actually hitting and doing two sets and committing yeah. to like 75 minutes each of really like yeah, hitting for real is, I think yeah. it's like the only way to do it. It's, it's a good, I have a question. I'm excited question. to do more of that. When was the first time you all played with people like after the pandemic started? I October. In, October. I played in last June, actually, almost a year ago, okay. when there was a little look good. It was doing a little bit better in, in Europe. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it just climbed up again. But uh, I had a good run over there for a minute. And Theo and Ryan? I, I played with, uh, I did a. Uh, you played at the gallery, played, yeah. At the gallery. When was that? That was. That was like. July. Yeah, July. July, okay. Yeah. yeah. That was. It was a while ago, but it was very. That was a long time ago. <laughs> it was because we hadn't played and there was no applause, and we weren't used to this whole format yet, and it just felt really weird. And you know, we gave it our best, but it just didn't feel like anything was coming back. Mm, yeah. Of the loop yet, like how? Yeah. It's really weird without the interaction with the audience, you know, you're just kind of like throwing the ball and you're like, I don't know where it's going, if anybody's catching or how are they catching? Ryan, what about you? I played some commercial recordings, which picked, you know, like uh, movie soundtrack kind of stuff, which picked up in June of last year, but it was all super isolated. We were all in ISO booths. They were doing like just the brass one day and then just the strings the next days, you know, so something that would have taken three hours took like three days mm. for them to record. But I didn't play jazz, which is what kind of what I count as playing real music for me. Uh, yes. I didn't, I didn't play <laughs> jazz with other humans until September. And thank uh -huh. God for Samuel Torres. Actually, I'm playing with Samuel this Friday at La Terraza. Um, All right. But he booked some outdoor gigs in September. And then we did some live streams for, I think, for the Colombian consulate or something like that. But 
that's that's what I was referring to, man. I was hurting. I was like shedding his music really hard. I was trying to recreate the live gig, but then you get into a rhythm section, you know, and they're all thrown down, and none of them have to worry about their chops. I'm the only wind player, and oh. after the song <laughs> or two, I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to go up here. <laughs> I've, got, I've got 90 more minutes of music to play. <laughs> Because I played, I played a um, like a like my first live set the other day, and I, I I we ended up playing like forty minutes when it was supposed to be an hour. Like man, I forgot how to time this stuff. But you know, what also, like, I don't know, you guys probably like feel the same way. Is like every time I play with people, I feel like man, I real B sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Massimo. Sorry, Massimo. <laughs> um, but like, man, playing with people is like so different. <laughs> <laughs> yes it's it's you forget though like it's crazy i don't I think also like you know the thing you were saying about playing with a live rhythm section and just like energetically how different that is from any i mean i know for myself as soon as i link up with a bass player or a pianist or anything it's like it's a completely different demand than me just like at home you know it's like yeah um but it feels so good. Yeah. I just had a gig last night. I had <laughs> gigs all weekend and I was like, oh, this is so good. And it was just like, it was um, super hard to play rhythm changes super fast. You know, I was <laughs> like, damn, this is, but it felt good. It felt good, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know this is such a people music and we so need humans and each other and you know and then also like audience I mean I think that we all appreciate audience members so much more you know it's just just it's they're not just sitting there they give us so much yeah. you know even those nights we dreaded when we had more people in the band than in the audience now I'll take even it. then <laughs> yes that happens too but still I'll take it yeah so anyways, let's uh, let's move on. And uh, Ryan, are you working on anything that you would like to promote that maybe? I don't know. Nothing in the short term. I have two records in, in the can, um, but they both are recorded before the pandemic. And I'm just kind of waiting for the right moment. One with a Brazilian band that I've been working with a lot down there and, and a bit up here. Um, uh, whom uh, Ohad knows. He knows many of these cats, They're incredible musicians. And um, and then a record, um, a live record with Reverso, which we recorded the night before Paris shut down mm. on uh, March 11th of last year. And we got a, li a really great live recording out of it. So that'll come out sometime early next year. But yeah, nothing in the, in the immediate term. Thanks for asking. Well, um, if y'all want to follow Ryan, he is on Instagram at Ryan Keverly. And um, stay up to date with him. I always remind people, like, I give out people's Instagrams because usually you put your website there. It's very easy to access, and you update it not every day, but, you know, every at least once a week or something most people do, you know. So it's it's a good way for people to keep in touch. So that's why I give out Instagrams rather than, like, websites. So, you know. Um, anyways, uh, thank you, Ryan. That was awesome. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. everybody. Thank, thank you. So we're gonna take an ad break, about a minute, and uh, yeah, we'll come back with our next. All right, Ohad, you're next. Ohad, you're next. Next. Are you ready? Yeah, but I'm. I look so beige and brown. What the hell is this picture? Are you like on your computer? No, I have. I have the same seats, camera, and I think I kept the same settings from the. I'm like often I mean, beige. <laughs> you like the way you make do you want to go change your shirt so you will no pop? are you crazy that's a that's a yanai tom original i'm rocking this oh, okay i have i have savannah's <laughs> pants yay <laughs> i'm gonna show it of course no no I'm, this is all like this is look hey this is look at that it. i mm. love it Th this is the this is the pandemic covid yanai's invention for hoodie skull wait so it has a it turned into mask no yeah it does does that, and you close it. There we go. How about that? Okay. I mean, it's supposed to it's supposed to go here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I Perfect. Love it. <laughs> I want one in black. You yeah, had just made one in black. See? Yeah. Everybody wants it, but I gotta show you your pants. Well. Okay. Excited. I guess Don't that was it. Oh, sorry. You're supposed to like call it cool clothes, and like when you're looking nice, you're supposed to say you're dripping, right? 
That's what my children it's drippy. say. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I just sound so awful when I talk like that. <laughs> just like completely out of place. It's like, yeah. Because it is. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's really out of place. I'm so drippy. Ah, oh, stop talking like this. So bad. Don't say bad. Okay. <laughs> Don't say bad. That's cute. Uh, it's good to be aware of it though it's like good to stay up on it and not you know pick and choose your moments and it's true except i'm being reminded continuously to be, <laughs> remain aware of that. <laughs> my own hipness mm-hmm. yeah all right has it been a minute uh, speaking of hipness um there you go good, good segue our next guest is also somebody who I look up to a ton and is somebody who I, I think is one of the most generous people in, in this music. Um, Ohad is not only an incredible musician and uh, actually speaking of big band cats, but not only big band cats, because Ohad has written, we, I was actually, okay, let me, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Edward. I was talking about Ohad the other day because we were on, on a YouTube hole and uh you know the kurt rosenwinkel video with with ojm came up and i was sitting i was like oh did you know that oha did all that all, like or all or most of this music and people were like oh no shit that's cool so so we ended up listening to a couple of those tracks and man those arrangements are, are killer um also we were checking out your concerto that you did that featured um danny uh dan weiss and um i don't think uh shit. jason moran jason moran and then i don't know the other person uh, yeah, I don't know his name either. It's a cello. He's the first cellist mm. of the the orchestra. Okay, he has a <laughs> Portuguese so eight names put together. Yeah, but anyways, my point is, Ohad, Lucas, man yeah. of many talents and composer, arranger, and um, incredible musician. Also, we had you very recently at the gallery before COVID, um, around December, with your trio, with mm-hmm. Miles and Danny as well. So um, that was close to the shutdown, I guess. Anyways, yeah. Um, point is. Uh, Dear friend of the Jazz Gallery, dear friend of ours, Oha Talmor, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you want me to say a few words, maybe, about this thing that we're going to um, see and hear? Yeah. Um, so, I've been, you know, for the past few years, I've asked my daughter. So, I'm, I'm going to. How can I say it so I don't sound ridiculously on hip? I'm going to uh, feature my children, not rock. Um, but um, so they're grown people. Uh, my son, Yana, is 17, is a fashion designer. My daughter, is, her name is Ava, she's 21. And she's a uh, all embracing, uh, strong uh, artist, thinker, uh, humanist. And she's out at uh, Mills College in California. And uh, so Ava's uh, been doing my cover records. She's on the last couple of ones, um, she's done this one, and she's done that one, and they're they're great. And I just love collaborating with you know it's kind of this extension, um, so it's a kind of a natural thing of having it with the people that you create, and then they create in terms, and it's all part of that same circle. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. So I wanted to do something with Ava. Um, whereas I would write or play or do a, a piece and then sh- the constraint would be that she'd hear it and then she'd have that in part of time to do a drawing and she'd be recording it and then I'd just put it together, synchronize it the way she heard it. And that she did. And it's amazing. Um, I just love that. You know, she's, uh, she's an inspiration. And of course, I have to put a shout out to my, my son whose clothes I'm wearing. And this is the clothes, this is the pants that he did for Savannah. You have to try, it looks really weird on here, but you'll see it's kind of an amazing. I am so you, have ready. To open, you have to open it. Like, which uh, way? Which... Okay, 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 here it is. This. Oh. And then oh, it's wow. got this like extension and there's all this different fabric coming in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. These are so cute. <laughs> so yeah, he's been working on that for a minute. So. Um, and then it's um, yeah, this is like a it's like a mini Talmud show, right? <laughs> um, the the Talmud show, yeah. The Talmud show, um, and um, yeah, and the piece is um, it's it's um, kind of this you know this universe that I'm I'm in, you know. Um, um, so I play the saxophone, I play the piano, and I play the bansuri, and 
it's a piece that um, is um, most of what I write is on the subway, is out of the piano, and then I try to then make sense of it later. So um, it's also worked on Ableton, like a lot of people did. Uh, I've been using Ableton for a long time now, so it's great. It's like a kids in a you know toy store, and um, so yeah, I think that's it. It's maybe let's see it. So I I have to share it from here. So I have to press that button. I have to share the sound. All right, you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Get around the block. Okay. <laughs> um, I have to press play and I have to mute myself first.
Yeah, Ohan. So cool. So fun. Yeah, show that yeah, to yeah. my my to my to my daughter. It's amazing. Yeah. She, Wait, so yeah. did she like hear the music once through before, or is this was the first time she heard the music? I don't know. Um, I think she listened to it once. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did she draw to the music after the what came first? Your music or her the music. So I just sent her that. And then so there was 10 minutes of music and then she uh, she just uh, she drove to it. Wow. Your yeah. sax sound is so luscious. Ah. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so Thank you. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I crawl into that? Thank you very much. <laughs> I was also gonna say the um the tabla sound man is really killing tabla sound. Oh yeah, but that's a that's a, that's an iOS app. Oh, <laughs> but it, when, I'm gonna download that. <laughs> I mean, I play a bansuri in E. It's a concert bansuri, which is the tabla player don't like this key because they, it's either too high or too low. They never have the right tabla, so they're all bitch and moan about it. Like I have a great tabla next to me, Dan Weiss lives next to me, and he says, "Man, can we play in D?" And I'm like, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I thought the sound quality was really good too. I mean, music was beautiful, and I love how it just kind of like moved to places. Oh, your daughter is in the YouTube uh, chat right now. Hi, Fuskalicious. <laughs> what does she say? I don't have the chat, so I don't know where it is. Oh, she's watching. Yeah, she said, Yo, it looks so cool. Thanks, friends, for watching. Yeah. So oh. Yeah. That looked really cool. Yeah yeah totally totally and now you must be so proud i mean it's great you know it's uh you know you're you know i mean you're much 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 younger than me so you know you wouldn't know but uh you have two kids and and you know how much the time and space they take and to kind of go full circle and have them be part of your creative universe is yeah. a blessing you know and, mm -hmm. uh, and they're great people you know i'm not just learn as much from them as from anything else, so yeah, I mean it's just one incarnation of what can be done, and I'm, yeah, I'm grateful to you for for having me do that. No, thank you. That was great. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of, of shout outs for you, Ohad, real quick. So first of all, is Ohad not only is an incredible musician, but he also runs uh, a very important music venue in Brooklyn um, called Seed. So Seeds has been doing live concerts. Yes. Go ahead. Um, Seeds has been doing live stream concerts as well, and if you uh, want to check those out, go to seedsbrooklyn.com. Is that the website? Oh, .org. Seedsbrooklyn.org. Seedsbrooklyn.org. Um, you can find the calendar there. I believe you guys do mostly like Thursdays and Wednesdays and stuff. Um, yeah, it's mostly middle of the week and mostly mid-afternoon, so we can broadcast things that can be seen live by European audiences. Yeah, and I was going to say, because, like, you know, everybody knows that the gallery also live streams on Thursdays, but if you want to go watch Seeds and watch us, there is no conflict. You can go to yeah. both. <laughs> there is no conflict at all. Um, no, definitely go check out Seeds. Uh, very, very, very important venue. Um, what else was I going to say? I was going to talk about... Um, I w I'm very grateful for you also as well, because I believe the last time that Lee Konitz played in public ever was at the Jazz Gallery, and that was... Yeah partially because of your help. 
Um, you know, you arranged the music for the last record that he put out, which was uh, Old Songs. You actually held that up for a second earlier. Um, yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that actually also came out just before the pandemic as well. Um, so that's something that y'all should check out as well. That's an incredible record. Um, but not to take much words out from you, but if you're working on anything else or anything that you would like to promote, um, please feel free to do that now, Ohan. I mean, there's always a, f a few things in the bag. You know, I have a foot here and a foot in Europe. Um, and uh, so I guess the next thing is, um, um, so I have this string of three projects that are kind of all cycle the same thing, the sextet um, and a trio and a, and a large ensemble, uh, which they all played at the gallery at one point or another. So the sextet came out on Intact and uh, the the trio with Dan, Dan uh, Weiss and Miles Rukazaki is coming out in a few months. Um, and then I have a few things with uh, Big Ben, actually, uh, this great Big Ben from Portugal, Jam, asking to write music for them and Dave Douglas. Um, and then things coming up, hopefully, if the world reopens in, uh, in the fall. In Europe. And of course, there's a bunch of things going on at Seeds. The great thing is, as of four hours ago, this thing I'm sitting on, well, I, You're not sitting on it, no, <laughs> sitting in uh, front of it. Yeah, in front of it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's a, this incredible gift from the Konitz family and Lee's. Uh, this is his Steinway, uh, an instrument that he and, and, and Gil Evans chose together, supposedly. Um, and um, it kind of went through a different iteration. It was supposed to go this and there, and eventually it ended up here. So, uh, you know, for now it's here. Who knows what's going to happen as we talked about it in Rio but, uh, um, it's uh, it going to uh, provide a, a great venue for the time being for pianists to play here. Um, and there's a, a string of things going on. Uh, it's, a, it's not as organized, you know, it's mostly a one-man operation, this thing. So, you know, I have my friends here, uh, Alain and Michel, who uh, help me with great guys, uh, great musicians, but it's more, um, it's more difficult. And is there a zoo behind you? Or I hear like birds. Or am I hearing something weird? I think it's coming from you. Dude, the yeah, sound in my was head from you. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear like there is like this weird, uh, you know, birds or something. Nature sounds. Is it yeah, me? Nature. Oh, it must be me. No, like right outside my, because I have this headphones, so I couldn't hear what's happening outside of it. <laughs> but I'm sorry. No, there's a huge tree outside my window. That's and amazing. there's a lot of like birds, you know, um, like blue ones, red ones, all kinds of birds outside. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it, it's actually a lot. And then, you know, they start chirping around three in the morning. It's really loud, too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's that, you know, I'm just saying. But it's also something that's very much modeled after what Rio had and doing at the gallery, you know. And it's so important. That's just beyond me. It's, it's so needed. There's so few places left. All the resources go to the wrong places, you know, and not to production. And you can go to school for 10, 20, 20,000 years. You still need a place to play that music and you still need to learn that music live. So, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the gallery and, and I'm trying to do a little bit here, but you know, it's, uh, that's kind of the name of the game right now. This what's happening here. And there is a piano and Savannah promised me that she'll write a whole new repertoire for or upcoming projects. I can't wait for that. Ryan has yet to come <laughs> with the, the No dates. pressure. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wait, Yanai's here. gonna Yanai not gonna make the appearance? Yes, Yanai, you have to make an appearance and show Yanai is, is rocking his pants, but you have to be in the thing. I have to be in the come come. come. Oh, he, he's gonna right stand here. on the piano bench. <laughs> hey guys, this is Yanai, you have to show your pants. I don't know how it's gonna happen. You just have to I know, step no, step on the uh, bench. Step, step on the bench. All right, yeah, I'll set up up here. Oh, wow. Here we go. That's Very right. nice. Detail what do you think, Theo? And all that. Back paneling made from scratch. <laughs> I can't hear you guys, but. No, because I got the thing in my ears. <laughs> Water on All right, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye for this. Yeah. Text me later. <laughs> all right. Not too late. Not too late. Not too late. Anyway, uh, that's, that's killing. All right. Um, well, thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Be Ohad. If y'all want to follow Ohad on Instagram, he's on Instagram at Ohad. 
And uh, yeah, thank you, Ohad. The whole family. <laughs> awesome. Hello, Ohad. Um, ad break. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, this is so fun. fun. Right? It's well, really fun. I know. Because, you know, I think, I mean, I say this often, but, you know, as a musician, like we miss playing with each other, but I think we miss the hang even more. For sure. You know, Definitely. sometimes it's more about hang than about the gig. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and our socializing on the gig, at least for me, was like most of my socializing. I mean, we're all busy and like you take away the gigs, you take away most of the socializing. So yeah. We're all like nerdy weirdo anyway without the game. Sure. <laughs> I mean, we've had a live stream concert at the gallery where someone like jokingly or not jokingly says after the gig, where's the hang? There is no hang. Is you no do hang. a gig and you're like, uh, go home? Here I, guess. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the other weird thing about uh, the live stream. After we were done, it was just, there was no processing, no hanging. If we were yeah. just leaving, you know, everybody was on their own and still we were still kind of scared to get, you know, infected and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. Well, um, before we finish up and get to our last guest, I'm just going to make my ending of the show announcements just so I don't have to do it at the end and people don't leave and whatever. You're forced to listen to my announcements right now. I'm holding you hostage. Um, so... Just a reminder, next Thursday we have Marquise Hill featuring Emmanuel Wilkins, Rashawn Carter, Marcus Gilmore, six, uh, 7.30 and 9.30 from the Jazz Gallery. Um, tickets at jazzgallery.org. On next Monday, the 26th, on the 26th, we're going to have the Roy Hargrove video. Remember, that's a one-time showing of a 1991 TV footage of Roy Hargrove featuring Antonio Hart, Mark Whitfield, uh, Jeffrey Kieser, Christian McBride, and Gregory Hutchinson hope you join us for that it's a one-time showing and it's a fundraiser for the jazz gallery so we're going to use that to hopefully raise funds to keep the party going here um after that next uh next next thursday the 29th is the billy hart quartet featuring dana stevens ben street and ethan iverson yep uh, that's also 7 30 30 and that is our first concert with in-person seating uh so if you want to join us in person we are having a maximum of 24 people at the space granted that you are vaccinated or have a negative test. Um, we at the gallery are all getting vaccinated. I am, uh, getting mine very, my second vaccine very shortly after that show, but my first one is in already. Um, I know uh, some of the other staff members are fully vaccinated. Rio, you just got your final one. Right? Yeah. The second one. Oh my God. I got so sick after the second one. I, I wasn't feeling good after my first one. So I'm not excited. But anyways, join us uh, if you if you can, if you're able to, if you're around, um, come join us and if not, come in online as always. For May, just very quickly to let you know, uh, on the third we're going to have an in conversation with uh, Brad Meldow featuring Miguel Zanon as always. On Thursday the sixth, it's uh, Brooklyn Baga Massive presents the Adam Rudolph Trio. Uh, on the thirteenth, we're going to have Oren Evans and a band TBA. I'm assuming still. Yes. Um, on the 20th, uh, uh, May 20th, is Chris Morrissey, and on May 27th, it's Chris Davis. So we hope you join us for all of these. These are all live stream concerts, 7 30, 9 30, um, with in person, limited in person seating. So, yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? Please consider donating if you haven't donated yet. Um, of course, we are happy that you're joining us, but if you can donate, us to, uh, donate to us today, there is a link in the description that you can click. It'll take you to PayPal, and you can either leave the suggested donation of $15. If you can do less than that, that's cool. If you can do more than that, that's cool. Um, if you would like to become a member and take advantage of uh, the discounts that we offer to our members, you can also do that on a link in the description. Uh, if you want to become a member, it's a one-time fee for a whole year. Um, so you get some very sweet discounts for that. And last but not least, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we are sitting at, uh, let's see, how many how many subscribers we have right now? It's 17 something. Oh my God. 1,748. Um, yeah. Um, you know, we're trying to grow the channel. Next goal is 2,000. And after that, we're going to keep going. That's um, right. 1,749 now. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
And I, I always forget to mention this, but go on our YouTube channel, check out some of our other content. We are constantly updating our YouTube page. Uh, the most recent thing that we did, uh, we're going to keep updating with the after hours as well. So you might be missing the lockdown session. As I mentioned, this is our last one for the time being, but I'm, uh, we're, keep, we're still doing some other things such as the after hours right now. The last one that's up there is with the Jazz Gallery All-Stars back from December. We also have one from Sasha Vasandani and coming up this week is going to be the one with Aaron Parks. Uh, so, you know, check out our YouTube page. We have a lot of cool stuff there. With that, yeah. we have our very last guest. And um, Rio chose this guest because it is very full circle for um, our, our, for the time being, last episode of the lockdown sessions. We are featuring our very first guest of our lockdown sessions back in, was it April? I think it was April. Yeah, April of last year. And uh, Theo Blackman broke the internet. Yes. Legendary. <laughs> Sorry. I would I would say even better. Um, I can't say enough nice things about Theo, um, one of my favorite vocalists and composers and band leaders and all the good stuff. So I would like to just welcome Theo Blackman. Hi. Hi. I have to ask, I want to know about the elephant behind you. What elephant? The in the room, you know. What? <laughs> whatever <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> but right. i see it and it's beautiful yeah it's preston's of course it's my husband preston <laughs> um who, who just ordered food that arrived um <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to hurry up here um i'm thrilled to be back and i always thought of this lockdown thing as a, a challenge for me to create something that that is in a lockdown that only uses materials in my apartment that only works with the direct uh, confrontation of me being locked up um, and so the videos I've done usually involve my space my oven my bathtub <laughs> um, my staircase <laughs> the, the staircase in my building which I uh, was all alone in so that was good um and the rest is pretty much all was all in my apartment um, using spaces and different angles and different, uh, but sort of always involving only myself. So I wanted to create a little tiny little mini swan song for the lockdown sessions um, and say goodbye to this. It's, it's bittersweet because I must say, Rio, you created a forum like this for us to hang out in when we weren't socializing and weren't able to connect. And I met a lot of people and reconnected with people and I met new musicians and I heard their work for the first time through this. And it, it is, it, I thought it was incredible. Thank um, you. That you kept this going and at this, you know, very beautiful level and for us to contribute our own ideas not in a live, nobody wants to see anybody play in front of a beige bookshelf um, with shit <laughs> but to like have, the, have the, the sort of the control over the aspect of what we're creating, not only musically, because that's, that's the easy part for most mm -hmm. of us, but the visual aspect, like how, where do we stand? What's the lighting like and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so I appreciated that. I really enjoyed that as a challenge. Um, to come up with something that is true to this moment. And so it's a little sad, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I, I know, it's right? It's <laughs> over. But this sort of idea of throwing together four people that might know or not know each other and then mm -hmm. exposing the audience to, to that and involving the audience through the internet was is very, is, is a beautiful thing. So um, I created something to say goodbye to this whole series. Oh, I can't and wait it, to see it. It's short. It's short. That's all right. Dirty, quick, and easy. Let me make sure I have um, shared my sound. Yes. <laughs> it would be really funny if you did <laughs> for the old time's sake. Oh, I'm not muted. Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, share sound. And here we go. No. Don't shine like a used to shine, and the thrill is gone when your lips meet mine. I'm afraid the masquerade is over, and so's lockdown. Down. Your words 
best routine. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. And so's locked down, and so's locked down. I guess I'll have to play Pagliacci and get myself this clown's disguise and learn from Dr. Tony Fauci with tears in my eyes. You look the same, you're a lot the same, but my heart says no, no you're not the same. I'm afraid the masquerade is over, and so's locked down, and so's locked down.
Yeah. Oh my god. Incredible. Oh, hail the king. Amazing. So good. Amazing. <laughs> wow. I have original sound on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really in the Zoom. That was a real Zoom. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, Zoom all by yourself. Let's look back in. Oh my God. It's so amazing. Thank you, Theo. Thank you, Theo. We yeah. can now go outside. Yeah. Outside and see each other and again. Yes, I'll be seeing you in person. <sighs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, like you said, it's a little bit bittersweet because, you know, this has been fun. But, um, you know, I think that now we have a lot of people tuning in from all over the world that um, I think of something else to do online. Yeah, so. it, it, was, it was definitely a moment in time, this, this lockdown session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, so we did 40 of them. So that's roughly about what, 160 artists? I mean, there's a few overlaps. So let's just say like what, 150, 140? A lot of people, a lot of videos. And I've, you know, there are a lot of people incorporate their family members and, you know, I saw some dancing, drawing, all kinds of different talent. And, you know, some people play everything. Like Morgan was just everybody. That that was just like not fair. Like, what was that? <laughs> but, yeah. But I should mention also, Rio, that like the lockdown session came through from like, I guess I would call it like a beta version of an idea that you had that you, I guess, you know, obviously requires a lot more funding. And I don't know if you want to talk about that. But like, yeah, no, because, you know, I always thought that like that. Um, I mean, yes, I agree with Ryan that as music nerd, we we can listen to music in any format. But I would say like, you know, majority of people who actually listen to music, they listen with their eyes. And I think it would be really helpful to jazz musicians understand how to incorporate that in your presentation to like, you know, you don't want to trick people into things, but like you, you know, there, if there's a way to make you more enticing, why not? Right. And I was thinking that, you know, I wanted to write, raise some money to do a program where I will pair uh, like immersing artists with, because there are a lot of emerging artists of all kinds in New York. So then pair that person with like designer, a graphic artist or film student from NYU. So like really do some polished music video so that you have experience of doing that. And also you will meet different people, you know, net, create the network of artists that you can co-create something that will withstand the scrutiny of internet. Because internet is a really weird place in that you know, things get lost and you have to create something specific for the medium. And I think that, you know, um, it, it will only be helpful and fun. And so you, this, that's something that I'm thinking about in the future to, you know, to be more like a teaching, like a learning opportunity type of thing. So I love that idea, Rio. Yeah. So, awesome. so yeah, to be announced <laughs> if Anybody like to donate a bunch of money to underwrite the program? Email us at info at jazzgalley.org. <laughs> and it's all tax deductible. Yeah, it requires yeah. money. These things are very expensive. And, you know, but we do have a track record of making these things happen, you know, with our uh, residency commission thing, the fellowship, the um, also the mentoring series, all these things we have a track record of, of putting together and um, making it happen. So. so if you choose to donate for this new endeavor, um, please rest assured that your money is well spent. Yes, definitely. Definitely. All right. Well, parting is a, what is that, the phrase? Parting That's is sweet, sorry. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Theo. Thank you, Savannah. Thank you, Ohad. And thank you, everybody who's been watching us. So... Next time, see you in person at 1160 Broadway. Yes. yes. Indeed. Thank you, Rio. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. All right. Yeah.